Hi, hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Okay. Let's wait a bit till we have more people with us. Then we'll start the show. Okay. So those of you who are watching with us, um, we're uh, that's Taiwan and I'm Jeanette. <laughs> yes. Hi. If you just joined us, hi. Welcome to the show. We'll be starting. Uh, in a bit when we have more people uh, watching if you have any questions for our guest of the day Andy Chen uh, please leave it in the comment section below uh, any questions at all regarding parenting or his kids or any anything you would like to ask him uh, yeah, if you have like a celebrity crush if he's your celebrity crush you can like leave your questions accordingly also <laughs> yes <laughs> Okay, let's wait a bit more. Hmm. Um, hello, guys who are saying hello. Please share the stream <laughs> as well, guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Mu Chan. We'll be starting shortly. Yes. Okay, again, Thanks, if you just joined us. Training. Yeah, again, if you just joined us, hi, uh, my name is Choi Wen, with me is Jeanette, my colleague, and we'll be starting our show with Andy Chen really soon, waiting for more people to join us first. If you have questions, please leave it in the comments, uh, in the comment section, any questions at all, we try our best to ask him. Yeah. Hmm. Also, apologies for the reflection on my glasses. <laughs> uh, I, I, I use PC lenses because I, I'm on a screen all day long, so, you know. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we will start. Hi, everyone. If you just joined us, hi. Welcome to MSCB Talks, uh, which is a series of uh, talks we will hold for the rest of the CB period, which hopefully will only last for about two more weeks. Yeah, so it's for us to chat with you guys and... Uh, to our get chat with our guests as well. So my name is Choi Wen. Today with me, I have my colleague Jeanette, who is an editor at Mothership. Hi, hi Jeanette. Hello. Yeah. Thanks for having me. There's a special reason why she's here today with us as well, which I guess you guys will find out later. But yeah, so today's topic is about parenting. Um, with this uh CB period, I think everybody stay at home, and parents in particular are having a very exciting time because they are spending every waking hour with their children who, if they're young, uh, would possibly occupy a lot of their time and it's exciting and fun to spend time with your kids, right? But if you also have to work... Over and, and above all, all the work you have to do, right? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Thrilling times, I'm sure all of you parents are having. <laughs> do share with us, um, if you're a parent tuning in, um, what your experience has been like with home-based learning and uh, mm -hmm. or with just spending time at home with your kids. Yeah. So other than home-based learning, now that the kids are on school holidays, they have to like find ways to like teach their kids, entertain their kids, occupy their kids' time, which is, I don't know how they do it, right? So uh, today, no <laughs> today we have a special guest with us, right? Yes. Um, as, as you guys might know, and that hopefully is the reason you guys are tuning in, I hardly think it's because of the two of us, uh -huh. but um, if, if it is, great, thanks. But uh, So anyway, the, the guest who's appearing on our show today is an actor and a producer, but first and foremost, a dad. Mm -hmm. And he was, as you might know, in many Channel 8 dramas like The Little Nonya and CLIF, and also in Channel 5 shows for The Potato that I am, like Lion Moms Fighting Spiders. And so, of course, he's also married to the beautiful Kate Pang, and they have two beautiful children now as well, as you might know, since you guys are common fans of us, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, of course, I'm talking about Andy Chen. And so he's joining us tonight, and we're very excited to talk to him about his wonderful, exciting experiences uh, with home, staying at home in Circuit Breaker with his two kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before I bring him in, you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments, and we will pick them up, and we will ask them to Andy and hopefully, hopefully he will play along with us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so please do leave your questions. Okay. So without further ado, uh -huh. uh, we'd like to bring you uh, Andy Chen on CB Talks. Woo -woo. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Yeah. Hi, Hi guys. 
Hi. 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 Thanks for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Yeah, it's 9 p.m. I mean, like, are your kids bedtime. still awake? <laughs> oh, it's it's almost bedtime. time, actually. Uh -huh. Another 20 minutes more. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Will you be missing your bedtime? Uh, because you're doing this with us? It's, it's their bedtime, la, oh, not their my bedtime. bedtime yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really it's actually, I've been, having a lot of, I've been sleeping really late because like, when they, after they fall asleep, that's when you actually feel like a human. So, <laughs> you like, don't want it to end. So it's just like, it's okay, like, just like half an hour more, half an hour more, half an hour more. Ah, it's 3 a.m. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> so your home point is of putting very late nights. Yeah, very late nights, uh, unfortunately. Very bad habits. <laughs> and not because of work or? Uh, both lah, but both. I've been ask asking myself honestly, like, why, why am I sleeping so late? But I, I realize it's just because, like, you finally have time for yourself. Like, I'm an introvert, so I, I need time for my brain to kind of just, like, ah, oh, be alone. So, like, now the kids are at home 24-7, so it's almost, it's like you don't get any time in the day, like, where it's actually quiet and you can think. <laughs> so, it becomes um, a luxury at night, yeah. Quite exciting. Yeah. So, Andy, I mean, because we, most of us know you as an actor and producer, and you do a lot of TV work and showbiz work, but that can't exactly be happening at home now, I guess, right? So, what exactly are you doing for work now from home? Um, fortunately, we still get a bit of marketing work. So, like uh, social media, uh, branding content and stuff. Um, so, and for me, I actually spend a lot of time, like I, every day I'm like, I'm still working out and then I'm still uh, working on my craft, like reading scripts, uh, watching movies while reading scripts and stuff. So for me, I've always been like a very craft-based actor. So I do a lot of my work alone as well. So um, fortunately for me, those work can still continue. Like, you know, it's just that the, the income generating work has kind of just like went down. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. So, yeah, so yeah, I've been oh doing dear. most of those work, yeah. Mm. And how have you been managing with um, your kids being at home with you all day, every day, been, for the past I two months? I've been managing badly. <laughs> uh, to be honest, yeah, also I've been set, I, I just set up my uh, production company. Lah. So I'm actually spending a lot of time in front of the computer, basically trying to figure out systems and, you know, like setting up a company and stuff. So those work are actually the toughest when the kids are around. And... Uh, I'm actually quite surprised because I'm an introvert and I used to stay home all the time anyway. So to me, I'm like, ah, CB, CB lah. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the cool guy, you know. Mm -hmm. But like one week, two weeks into it, right. Wow, I'm like, I cannot do any work with the kids at home. So it became quite a headache lah. And I think parents out there must be feeling the same or worse. Because in my family, it's just me, my wife, my helper and my two kids, right. So what about families that are living in an even smaller apartment that has like maybe three generations or four generations, especially like with in-laws. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, they're survive, man. I'm sure you have a great relationship with your in-laws, right? <laughs> my in-laws are in Taiwan and they don't watch English programs. Oh, <laughs> but I love you, I love you. Of I love your mom you and dad. Yeah. Very much. Of Best course you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, so now, now is the June holidays, right? Um, or rather the May holidays. So that applies to your kids who are in preschool now as well, right? So uh, it, That doesn't really apply to my kids because... Oh. Um, Preschool actually, you don't get like the June and December holidays. It's right. just basically you get you get school every weekday lah. So it doesn't really bother us. Um, but there's no home based learning now, I guess. Is there? They, is there like a syllabus you follow from them or? It isn't like a hard and fast syllabus lah. You know, it's they're still very young, so it's more kind of like uh, learn play based learning. They do have like sessions whereby the teachers read to them on. Zoom, but because they are kids, it's quite hard to, for them to really stay in front of a cam uh, of a of a computer for long, listening to like a badly recorded like storytelling session. So it doesn't really work very well, like, Honestly speaking, so a lot of times, initially the first week they just kind of know at home. And then, like, my wife is like, okay, okay, we can't, we can't, <laughs> we can't just let them noir the whole CB away. So, we decided to basically do up, like, a routine, la, you know, we have, like, a timetable. And basically, that also means that we, it's also our full-time job to, to take over the teacher, the teacher's mm. role now, yeah. So, you guys are, like, teaching them stuff now that y'all are coming up with on your own. Yeah, exactly. So and then you mentioned the timetable? 
Can we yeah. see? <laughs> yeah. You guys have the photo. I sent you. Oh, this one, this one. Uh. Wow. Okay, tell us about it. Can you walk us through this timetable that you have? Okay. <laughs> So, so basically, we, we decided that, okay, let's create a timetable together lah, so they know we have some sort of a routine, right? Actually, my wife is a chaotic one. I'm the very systematic one. So she basically came to me with like tails behind, tails in between her, her legs and said like, uh, can we do a timetable like what you do with yours, right? <laughs> so we decided we sat down and then we wrote down like, okay, this time we're going to take this class, this time we're going to take this class and we split it into two. So like uh, in the morning, we have English class at 10.30. So English class for me, I take uh, Aiden and then she takes Avery for Chinese class and then half an hour later, we switch. And then oh. it's the same for math and science. And then we have music and physical education. So we kind of have like three sessions. Oh, PE classes day, so no yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. comprehensive. Yeah, quite comprehensive. So we yeah. kind of have to like research the syllabus and try and like, you know, order books and, and, and board games and educational stuff online. And then try and keep them occupied mm -hmm. long while they are learning. Yeah. So, so basically you guys use like a textbook to guide you no text. And the kids true or like, <laughs> <laughs> like it just boggles my mind. Like, yeah. okay. we, basically, we have like books that says like the grade um, that they are supposed to be. But honestly, preschool are uh, like the, yeah. the, the level, level anyhow. Uh, sometimes it's like, wow, super difficult. Then sometimes it's like, eh, why so easy? So yeah. you just kind of aga aga you, you do a little bit, see how where where they stand, and then you you move faster or you move to another book, and then um and actually they are, they don't do very well with assessments and mm -hmm. like very academic writing stuff. So you need to like play games, flashcards, and stuff like that. Yeah. I I heard that um in preschool now some of them do science as well. Are, are, are your kids doing science? Are you teaching them science? Yeah, I'm teaching them science. That's because by my son like, wants to be a scientist. That's oh, wow. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, he wants to become a scientist. We keep telling him, hey, be scientist, be scientist. We <laughs> have the Chinese parents in us. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, don't want lawyer, doctor, never mind, uh, be scientist. Okay, so he's very into science. Like, he wants to learn about things. So, uh, we do science classes, which can get quite hard, lah, because um, he's, he's five and a half. So yeah. Like, what like, exactly yeah. is preschool science? Hey guys, I learned science when I was in primary three. No, hello. What science is that? I didn't learn science now, primary school, I think. Yeah. Well, we, we play, um, like, I will invent um, activities with them. So, for example, today, we actually bought, like, um, a DIY, like, solar-powered grasshopper. It's on my IG story. So, mm -hmm. you have to fix it, like, the parts, like, the mechanics and stuff. So, you kind of fix it together and then you put it under a light and it will actually move. Mm -hmm. So, basically experiments like that a lot of simple ones even like you take a trash bag and then you you make it into a parachute you tie a toy and then you throw it down and you you explain to them the science behind it so like today it actually works like actually honestly i'm just as surprised <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm just trying to pretend i know what i'm doing but i don't really so like today he actually understood because we had a we played a uh, like a car on a slope uh, game before and I explained to him like energy and how it goes and gravity and stuff mm -hmm. and he kind of grabs the concept so like he actually understands like oh the energy comes from the sun and then the gears actually like creates the motion and stuff like that so mm. through like activities like that like you try and get them involved like. yeah. cool. okay we have a question right um, by from one of our like someone in our audience they're asking do your kids miss their teachers do you know? Do they prefer you guys or their own teachers in school? I, I did ask them once, uh, like, do they prefer to stay at home like like now or do they, uh. would they rather go to school? They, they say they prefer both. They prefer they both. Like, <laughs> they like, both. Like, they like it both. Okay. Uh, best of both worlds. Uh, best of both worlds. They, they actually do like to go to school. We are quite fortunate. Our school, um, like, the teachers are quite passionate and very loving. So, like, the environment is, is, is a happy one. La. So, they actually do enjoy going to school. So outside of, of like school work or like lessons or like things you're trying to teach them to enrich them, what, what other things are you guys doing at home? Because I think I saw, I, I think we saw like, you've been yeah. posting quite a few things that like, and, and Kate as well has been posting things that she's been doing with the kids, right? So could you tell us a little bit about them? They look quite interesting. <laughs> uh, which are you talking about? The, the, the obstacle course? Oh, no, like baking or cooking oh, well, baking. or that. Things like there's that. There's, right? there's there's a quite a few of, of those things. Uh, actually yeah, there's for, a picture of them on you as well, like push-up position. Right, right. <laughs> so, I mean, 
I mean, we 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 basically post what's happening around us, and what's happening around us now takes place in like a thousand square feet, lah. <laughs> basically, so my wife she has always been um, an avid um, cook. And baker, so like she has been doing it for all her life, but she never really got the time. So now is the time when she actually experiments, and she has like like a hundred like cookbooks. They are all untouched. Hundred. <laughs> yeah, at least, and then they are all untouched. But now they are actually coming oh. to use, lah. So good with that. So the photo you are showing now is basically like um I'm try I'm trying to work out with them, lah. Because mm. in the past I actually I always work out alone, and I kind of mm. it's like my time. But I kind of have to accept that now. Like they're gonna be around anyway, you know, and they need to be occupied anyway. So some of my workouts, I I kind of integrate with them, lah. Yeah, some of the activities you do with the kids, ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah. And then you were talking about exercise, right? Like how? I mean, I know that I'm sure many parents here also feel like um their their kids are like crazy active and the energy never dies, right? So yeah. how how do you how have you been coping with that amount of energy in in this circuit breaker period? <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like it. Um, I mean, kids are supposed to be like that, you know. If they sit around and they just kind of stand into space or they like read a book in, it takes a whole day to read a book. I'll be, I'll be worried, you know. <laughs> the fact that they are so happy and they are so active, and we we can do activities together. That part I'm actually very grateful for. I'm very happy. Um, yeah. So so to me, it's it's, it's quite a. Quite a blessing to see that I I love my kids. You know, I am an introvert. I like to spend time with myself. But I love mm. my kids and to see them. I think one good thing about this whole experience is that you actually get to really see them grow. You know, like from day one of taking classes, you actually see them getting better. You actually mm. see them understanding science concepts or writing better or reading better, and that is actually quite fulfilling. I have to say, yeah. Uh, so who is the who is the preferred teacher, you or kid? Who's the perfect teacher? Who's, perfect, perfect. Of us, who's the who's the more who's the more preferred teacher between preferred you and teacher. my? I think my wife. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the disciplinarian. If you have to choose one, I'm the I'm the disciplinarian at home, lah. So mm, and I, the bad and I guy. not really the bad guy because we have rules and everybody have to follow the rules. So both me and my wife enforce the rules. We don't believe the good cop bad cop thing. Mm. It's just it happens that by nature I'm more systematic and disciplined. Mm. And my wife is very instinctive and chaotic, la. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like so, so a very schizo. So like the kids, they will always try and go to her to try and get like leeway, la. Sometimes they get get away with a little bit of things, mm. um. But they do, I think both, la. Because at this age, you can't force them. Actually, at any age, la, you can't force them to do anything they don't like. Mm. Because once you stop looking, they will stop doing it. So there really is no point. Mm. Yeah, so Andy, you mentioned about exercise earlier with uh, and how like you doing it with your kids now. So how are you exercising with your kids? Uh, so like sometimes we do obstacle calls like that lah. So uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. off in hold on, I think it's them. Is it them? No more things. Bring them in. Introduce them. Hi, Xiao Xing. You don't have uniform. You can talk. Oh, hi. 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 Hello. Hello. What's your name? Hello. Who are you? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> so shy. So I see you were able to cut your hair recently, is it, Andy? <laughs> oh, I think you cannot hear us. <laughs> okay, she's shy. So shy. shy. Oh. Oh. And not wearing clothes as well. How do you know? <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't notice that. I can hear you guys. Just showering. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> so shy. I I noticed when you took off your headphones, were you were you one of the people who scurried to the barber as soon as it was open yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. No, actually. <laughs> okay, honestly, I have been on this whole, uh, minimalistic like journey. Um, wow. Wow. Now, like, not really minimalistic, like you know, I follow the path. It's called essentialism. Oh, so okay. minimalistic is basically doing um, less is less the less the better. Oh, less the lesser, better, right? So you want as minimal things as possible, but uh, essentialism is basically you do less but you do it better. Oh, it's not like, like it's not like the you have nothing is the best, but you choose a few things that you really want to do and you do them 
to the best of your ability la. so for me like like my hair basically i've been cutting it myself for a while now so now um with this cv i i managed to, i can still keep like a decent haircut oh. yeah wow you yeah. cut your own hair that's quite impressive yeah, I, I, saw impressive, of, eh? yeah, I saw a lot of husbands or, or like uh boyfriends i guess who who get their spouses to to yeah. cut their hair for them so like yeah. very bad decision Miss brave of you to cut your own hair yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a question by the way um from a from a commenter who asked how do you handle neighbors who complain about noise level when your kids get too <laughs> active and expressive <laughs> i have to like i have to say my neighbors have been really understanding <laughs> um yeah especially my daughter there was a comment just now it says my daughter is quite a savage which is completely true <laughs> <laughs> a total savage <laughs> Yeah, she goes by her own rules and it's very hard to... Uh, so she can get a bit noisy sometimes. And uh, I always like, when I see my neighbours outside, I exercise outside of my house. So when I see my neighbours outside, I always like, hey, say, hey, sorry, you know, like if their kids are too noisy and they're like, no, 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 they're okay. You know, they understand. I actually heard from a lot of my friends that a lot of their neighbours have actually been very understanding. There's also this article where the where the parents actually give a kick. Right? I think it's from you guys, right? Give a kick to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think like this is actually one of the more beautiful stories I feel because first of all, like us as parents, we are very thankful, but also the the, the neighbors are uh, some of them don't even have kids, but they are very understanding like, And I, I really give it to them like, I don't think I'll be as nice as they are. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We have a we have a question, uh, <laughs> quite a funny one. Can you teach minister how to cut hair? <laughs> Which minister specifically? Ooh, I can't say yeah. exactly, you know. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We have a few. Yeah, yeah. You can choose not to answer that question. <laughs> but okay, so um, you said that you exercise outside the house. So do you um, bring your kids out uh, to exercise as well? Just, you know, like get them some, let them get some fresh air, um, run around a bit. How so before, it's hard to do because we are now actually in the second stage of our lockdown, I'm not lockdown, our CB, right? So during the first stage, it wasn't that bad, right? So you can work out with your uh, your fam- immediate family members. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did try, we did go two times with our kids, so me and my wife and my two kids. And we always choose like very big open areas to, to work out. But honestly, it's so difficult because every open area, it's all basically restricted now. You know, they put the the, 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 what do you call it, the streamers, mm. you block out the whole area. So, like, to me, I'm like, why would you do that? Because, like, where do you expect us to go to, you know? Like, and we are not traveling to another park or anything. We actually we actually have a park connector nearby, but it's always crowded. So we choose not to go there. We go, go to somewhere, but it's all blocked out. So it's very hard. And I know we're supposed to exercise alone, but I have a son and a daughter that is like, four and six you know three and five so how how do you expect them to like go out for a run on their own it's impossible so um yeah look, and i had people who have been like you know taking photos like taking photo of us basically not because we're celebrities but because they think we are breaking some rule or law or something like so oh. it, it, there is this um atmosphere out there that has become a bit uncomfortable like mm. i think there is a very general lack of uh, empathy and, and, and basically understanding of other people's situation and more of like the, like, hey, hey, hey you break the law. Hey, you cannot I, I report you. So, like, it becomes very, it's very unpleasant, you know? Like, there, there should be a certain amount of trust and understanding and, and actually also, like, maybe read up more on, like, what, what just to be more understanding. Like, yeah. Okay, end of rent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, was, I was wondering what you do if, if somebody... Um, uh, approaches you or, or confronts you with like with that kind of behavior. Did you I, experience that? Uh, it depends on my mood, lah. <laughs> if that day I was having a bad mood, I'm pretty sure I'll just like ignore the person, lah. Walk away. Yeah, there was this case. I think I told you guys also. Like, uh, someone actually took the effort. We were in the middle of an open area that was not taped up. That was the one only area that was not taped up. So <laughs> they. He, came down from their block and walked like a long distance to where we are and then told us like, hey, you know, you guys should be wearing masks because we are basically, I brought down like a toy set of um, basketball and the four of us were playing. This was stage one of CB, like, where you still can. And say like, oh, you guys cannot, you should be wearing your mask. You know, I'm like, 
we are exercising and we are all panting and all we are sweating. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 you guys uh, cannot. I'm saying like, can you please, I say like, can you please check your facts and then come back to me if you are sure what you're saying. <laughs> so he, then he took out an article and then the article basically in point form says like running, you know. And then I'm like, this is running for kids. What do you want me to do? Why run the reservoir? What is running for kids? And, and then, like, oh, then he's very upset. Then I told him like, why don't you just go and call the police? And if they want to do it, because we actually, we were exercising in front of a police camera. So they said, oh, yeah. I purposely, I'm like, we didn't do any wrong. Then he was like, he was very upset. Then he was like, oh, okay, okay. And then he actually went to call the police. Huh? And then he, he went to call the police. And then he came back with a six pack of beer on his hands. What? And then he, yeah, because he came downstairs to buy beer. Okay. Yeah, that's more essential. <laughs> so, yeah, beer is essential. So he went to buy beer and then he, and by the time he walked back, then he like very snugly said, I caught the police already. Then he like went back. What? Did he ever show up? Police show up? Oh, like, <laughs> nah, we didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, hello. Yeah, is very, even though we didn't do anything wrong, but it became very uncomfortable. And for parents, it's really hard because they have to be the kids. Lah. So like, I, w- I would, I would say if you do see parents out there, please uh, maybe show a bit more empathy. Like, you know, even you go to supermarket, sometimes you see like a, a parent with a kid or two kids and you're like, oh, you're not supposed to cut, bring them out. But maybe there's no one else. Mm. You know, maybe they really are locked down and like, how else am I going to get grocery and, and stuff like that? So I, w- I would say give them the benefit of the doubt. Mm. Yeah, the important thing is not to jump straight to a conclusion, right? Yeah. So more empathy, I think is good. Empathy is uh, it's something we really need to work on, I hope you. Hmm. Hmm. And another thing I think that um, is, is, some, is, uh, is an issue, I think, between uh, parents, I, as I imagine, um, with, with kids at home, is, is the stress of being able to not only balance uh, your kids and what they're doing, but also your relationship between each other, right? Like mm. uh-huh. you and Kate. So yeah, like, um, Kate. Has, has it been quite stressful to like, um, manage uh, and make sure that you guys are still close to each other amid all the busyness that you guys are both up to? Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, every time, look, I mean, the fact is that like when when you and your spouse argue and you live in Singapore, like I would say 80% of the time, it's just that both of you are too stretched, right? Yeah, you, your work is too much and just basically you have too much things to do like, and you, you can't do everything and then both of you are very stretched and then you end up fighting. So every time I feel this stress creeping up, I will start like rejecting work or putting work away and she does the same and very quickly we will find like a new balance. You know, I think most of the pressure from this CB actually comes from people who still need to do the same amount of work. Hmm. Um, like work from home, la, you know, which is like a dirty word now. La, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, last time when you were in the office, it's like work from home. It's like, oh yeah, I want to work from home. Now it's like, oh my God, can I don't work from home? It's yeah. Like, so, but, but for, so for us, we just basically decided that, you know, um, we're just not going to be as productive. We accept mm-hmm. the fact. It's like when you first have your baby, which you're going to experience soon, like the first <laughs> yeah. year, you're, you're going to realize that, hey, I can't, I can't function in the same level of capacity as I used to. And you must understand that and take a step back and understand that, okay, I can only function at say 50% or 60% and be okay with it. Then you find that new normal, then you're okay. But if you keep trying to do that like 100%, trying to hold on to that 100%, that's when the, the fight and everything will, will come. La, and mm. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. In, in fact, in fact I, like, I, think, I think we haven't uh, told our audience like why Jeanette why you are here oh, today, especially? Yeah, people are very interested to hear about me, lah. No, but I mean, I'm I'm here because I'm I'm due in July with my first kid, and then um, there's a lot of uncertainty for for I think the many of us who are expecting in this time, and like, um, for example, like I'm not even sure if my confinement nanny can come in from Malaysia because of the constantly extending MCO, and then you know we're not living with our parents, so there's so many things that I don't know. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, a lot of uncertainty and a lot of uh, stress about, um, you know, whether whether we'll be able to get into this thing and handle it on our own too. Like, yeah, so, you know, when, when, when you guys were having Aiden, I mean, was did you guys have similar uncertainties or what, what did you guys do? Well, 
we were not pregnant during COVID-19. Uh, yes, true, that's so, true, that's true. So I would say, like, we had the normal, you know, jitters and, like, not knowing and everything. And that is honestly enough stress for anybody. So to, to be pregnant at this time, it is quite rough. It really is quite rough, I have to admit. My, my sister-in-law is actually pregnant as well. Mm. Oh, congrats. When's she due? Uh... I think in another three months. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. pretty soon. Yeah, just, going in, just getting into her third trimester. So, like, honestly, at this time, I, I don't know what to say as well, you know? Like, other than the fact that, like, it's probably going to be okay, but the, the fact that you're going to be more stressed, you're going to be worried about, like, how safe is the hospital, you know? Like, are you going to be, a, people are able to kind of help? Like, if you're not supposed to meet your parents, who's going to help you? Exactly. You know? So, so there are, not, are all very big yeah, concerns. Big, right? big concerns. <laughs> and, and I think nobody has the bandwidth or ability to give you like a proper answer. So I would say because cases like that are again like a, the minority, you will kind of have to look for some compromise in rules. Lah, I would yeah. say. You know, like if people are going to hold you to like the 100% standard, then it, it, you, you're going to die. Lah, you know? So like, mm, I hope. I hope not. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I am trying to to manage my workload now as we speak. You know, obviously, my my very kind boss is is very accommodating and, and keen to work with me and, and help me to be supportive of my motherhood. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. I mean, congrats. It's a great thing. And you will always remember. And I think, like, ch- children that are born in this period of time, they're going to be so much tougher just because mentally so. you are going to like so much more and I, I really do believe that lah. Mm, hope yeah. so. so to our audience if you just joined us right uh, we are here today with Andy Chen of course you know and uh, with Andy right now is Aiden hi Aiden no I guess Tan oh yeah we have some fun questions we're asking like hi uh, Aiden hi hi Aiden hello, hello. can you, you say hi to our audience yourself? okay I guess not we're <laughs> asking Aiden to say hi to our audience yeah hi. say hello hello Hi! Hello. <laughs> so cute. Also, some people in our audience were asking why um, you keep Aiden's hair long. Oh, yeah, this is like the, <laughs> this is like the number <laughs> one question we get all the time. So, we didn't choose to keep his hair long. He chose to keep his hair long. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, he wanted to keep his hair long because he wanted to have the same length as, uh, as Avery. Oh. So, we always ask him, like, you want to cut your hair short? You want to cut your hair short? And then we think about it as like, when he turns primary one, he's going to have to cut his hair anyways. Yeah. And even that, I'm like, like, why do you have to control a kid's hairstyle? You'll be amazed the amount of negative feedback we've got just because he has, he's a boy and he has long hair. Really? Like, oh, is he going to get confused? That I'm like, I had long hair. Confusion. I'm not confused. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, what's wrong with guys having long hair? Like, kids, let them express themselves. And I always ask him, you know, like, he doesn't like it when I tie his hair because he say he thinks that's girly. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. He has his own. Sure, he's right. forming his own opinions, and mm-hmm. he's trying to express himself. And to us, it's like, do whatever you want, lah. Whatever makes you happy is not hurting anyone. Mm. Indeed. Okay, so sorry. There are some random questions here on among the comments. We're very curious about the the cool hooks in your room, the on the wall behind you. Can you tell us about them? <laughs> Some of the hooks are actually my command strips uh, from 3M. Some This is just an in, uh, installation. This is actually my man cave. La. So, oh, uh, yeah. So, like I said, I'm lucky so to have a man cave. <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm very lucky to have a man cave. So, I think this is my place of sanity. So, every time when I cannot take the stress or the noise outside, I just come in, I put on my headphones, like play a game or video game or something. Then my, my wife will kind of keep everything in order while I kind of calm down. So this is my so room of ten. Yeah, yeah, she she has been um she has actually honestly she's taking the the, the, the brunt of the the, the the pressure and the stress la, of the our, produ- our producer just told us that um Sharon Ao is tuning in right now. Hi Sharon <laughs> I, she's stuck in uh Paris now. Yeah. But I think their lockdown has ended, right? I'm not sure. Sh- I'm not so sure. Perhaps she will comment and we will let you know. Or you can read it as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, back to... What were we talking about? Uh, oh, we were talking about the hooks in right? your room in the man cave. Oh, yeah, the ah, kid. Yes. Kid tanking everything, which is amazing. Uh-huh. 
that's pretty cool. Mm. And I mean, um, and and it's great to hear from you, like how how you and Kate manage your relationship, which I which I I've always been told is really important in marriage. Like, uh, yeah. So, so I, so how do you like? Do you guys like have your own time together? Um, how do you carve out time yeah, together? Yeah, period. Like, so if you're like working and teaching your kids in the day, do you mm. guys spend time at night? Uh, but you said you work at night as well, right? So when do you have time to spend with Kate and what do you guys do to bond? Sometimes we'll, the kids manage to sleep a bit um, earlier, then we will spend time. Uh, we will spend time, we'll watch something on Netflix. Now it's community. Uh. <laughs> wow. Thankfully for community, man, it's saving my sanity as well. <laughs> uh, so like watch a few movies, you know. And then just relax the two of us, eat some tidbits. I'm getting mm. damn fat. Everybody's getting damn fat. Yeah. I've just officially gained 5 kg, I think. What? Okay. Over how long? Hey, what's that judgmental what? Huh? <laughs> Is it, no, because yeah, you said like, that you exercise a lot. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah you're, you're exercising and you're like doing so much things with your kids. And I, you I swear, kg. <laughs> I'm telling every all the audience, thing for me. everyone now, right, go to a weighing skill and weigh yourself. Okay, oh. you are gonna get a shock of your life. No, I Everybody has gotten so long. fat. I'm telling, no joke. Huh? I kg over how long so far? For just the CBPL. Oh. We were actually already we already self um basically not locked down, but we kind of just stayed home uh about two weeks before the CB started already. Oh, we okay. We just kind of self uh, self quarantine just for safety sake, la. And to, right. yeah, because we also got the kids out of school early because we know. Mm-hmm. Uh, the teachers are getting quite stressed out oh, during this situation. Sweet. Yeah, so we have been stuck at home for a while, and hey, that's just, even if you're not exercising when you're out walking and talking and doing things, you're burning calories. But when you're just in front of the computer all day, oh, it's amazing, man. Yeah, mm. you're you. You're all fat. People are asking to see your muscles because oh. they think you gain five kg of muscles. <laughs> oh yeah, it could be muscle mass. Yeah. Are we that kind of website now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I just put it out there, you know, because you know, fans, fans are demand. It's good to engage with the audience. Uh, yes. Sure. <laughs> so, yeah, some skin. <laughs> so in fact, we actually, nice, we actually nice. also. Whoa, 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 <laughs> okay. So yeah, Andy, we also put out some questions yeah. um, for for our Instagram audience, and they have a couple of questions. Mm. Uh, one of them is, uh, "Who's your favorite child?" Uh, I don't have a favorite child. Agents, right here. <laughs> excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have, I have to be frank. Uh, Avery's character is a lot like me. She is very, very sensitive, and she needs. A lot of her own space as well. Like she can be occupied with herself, playing with herself, talking to herself, telling stories to herself for like hours on end. Um, so like I understand her better. Uh, and Aiden is a little bit more like my wife. So my wife has some difficulty when she has to talk to Avery, explain things to her, reason with her because she doesn't have that. She doesn't understand her like I do. Like. So, but Aiden is, is like my wife. So they are very instinctive and a bit chaotic. Sometimes like it gets to me, but my wife will be able to handle him much better than, than I am. Like. But I mean, I, I love both of them um, so much. And I'm, there's, if there's one thing, it's just that we have gotten really close this period of time. We are growing together. We are eating together every single meal. We're playing together. We we know a lot about each other. It's That part of it is, is quite, quite sweet. Yeah. Like. Mm. And uh, another question from our Instagram audience: Are you gonna have another child? <laughs> <laughs> child. Okay. Any plans? If I ha- don't have to work for money, <laughs> I would have four, maybe six. I don't know. Six. Four, but, maybe uh, six. Yeah, it's just yeah, like I, do, <laughs> I don't have enough time and money, mm. So right now we don't have plans for a third one. Yeah. I guess. Okay. What did, what did Aiden say? Oh, he's looking at the uh, Facebook games. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like he needs you. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think we're uh, we'll wrap up soon, but yeah. um, we'll see if there are any more questions. Uh, someone is asking: Does Aiden keep pestering you to go guy guy? Do they understand like why you guys are at home so much now? Um, do you have to explain to them? Why do we stay at home? Because there is a virus. 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 Because
Mm. Oh, so he said because there is a virus. Yeah. Well, also, they actually understand like what's happening. Actually, the kids they do understand, so mm. um, they can feel it as well, lah. So mm. I think it's quite important to keep a very positive atmosphere at home. I mean, honestly, sometimes I read the news every day. I'm trying to get like the latest updates, but and it gets to me because it makes you worried and uncertain. And if you bring that vibe to the family, your even if your kids don't fully understand what's going on, they are going to be able to feel that like something's not right and they will get the same insecurities as you. So uh, we try and keep it as as positive as, as it is. Lah. So they are really having a time of their life at home, honestly. <laughs> honestly yeah, I would imagine, yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, someone else is asking, when is your next drama? And also, what is your favourite beer? My favourite beer? Wow, yeah. so specific. Because, but it was from earlier, because oh, I think yeah, when you mentioned the six-pack six of, six of beer. Yeah. Oh, six-pack of beer, okay. So I, I don't drink. Uh, I, I, Any I don't, alcohol? I don't drink. Yeah. At all? I'm I'm a monk. I, when I say I'm disciplined, I'm not joking. Wow. <laughs> but I, I don't I don't really drink. Mm. Ladies yeah. and gents, you heard it here. How Andy Chen keeps in shape. Don't drink alcohol. Uh, not that much in shape right now. CB, <laughs> 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 but yeah, I don't I, I don't drink. And then what's the next question? Wait, when's your next drama? Oh, yeah. uh, next drama. Uh, currently, um. Ti Tao has just uh, finished airing on Channel mm. 5 and it's moving to Channel 8. So it will be up on Channel 8, um, 18th of May onwards. Um, I actually do have a few films uh, that are supposed to release in theatres this year. But I'm pretty sure they are all postponed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They're all postponed, postponed for now, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. they're all postponed for now. So Ti Tao and well, let me think, anything else? Um, I have a pilot called 18, 18 uh, which is a murder series, um, and it's on it's on me watch as well. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I, I think I, it's way past like Aiden's date time. So, um, do you have any like last words for uh, encouragement or advice for fellow parents out there? Uh, or parents to be. <laughs> yeah, or parents to be like Jeanette. Any <laughs> words of advice or encouragement for them? Go even though. Um, I think it's not that bad, lah. You know, if you if you if you count our blessings and we look at what is positive right now, it's really not that bad. Um, but uh, I think we need to really pay attention to the mental health of parents. Uh, I think that is something that we really lack very badly. Honestly, I've always been like, ah, mental health, lah. Don't talk rubbish, lah. What is this? What is this mental health thing? You know, like very Singaporean mindset. Um, but like this period, I actually can feel my own mental health kind of deteriorating as the time goes on, as the days go on. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of parents, actually a lot of people are in a not a bad state of mind now, which makes them more grumpy, makes them more upset, makes them... And if you are okay, make sure you are um, staying in touch with people that you care about, making sure that they are okay, Zoom and everything. I mean, we always say social distancing, but we shouldn't call it social distancing. It's just physical distancing. Mm-hmm. Socially, yeah. we should still kind of stay in touch, you know, send a message, send a, a talk, a, you know, like we Zoom with, uh, we, we do WhatsApp video with our, with their grandparents and mm-hmm. stay in touch and find the support system and then find your new normal. I think that's, is find a new normal and be okay with that. Find something you're okay with. If you keep clinging on <coughs> old routines and habits, it is gonna, it's not gonna, you're not gonna do well in the long run, lah. So, so find your new normal, lor. Mm. Yeah. Hey, you have something to say? This virus, do you think this virus is scary? Scary. Do you feel scared? 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 Do you feel Usually speak in Mandarin or does he speak in English? Do you usually speak in Mandarin or English? Mandarin. Mandarin, ah. Mm. Okay. It is good to be bilingual in Singapore. Mm, it is good. So yeah. it is good to have bilingual parents like mommy and daddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 another, can hear you. another hour of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> really True. True, and yes, it's time to put the kids to bed. So, thank you so much, Andy, for joining us today. Thank it was you. wonderful yeah. talking to you and catching up with you in this time. And uh, I think our readers had a great time as well. Like, 
seeing you in your man cave and like and Aiden as well and Aiden yes and like lots of indecent exposure it was very uh-huh. exciting <laughs> very exciting <laughs> thank you so much for joining us thank you for having us have a very good night Andy thank you so much bye 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 good night bye 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 Okay, cool. So that was Andy Chen. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> exciting because suddenly, you know, like, yeah, almost got some stuff. Okay, never mind. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, it was nice that, that uh, Aiden joined us halfway. Uh huh. It was nice. Yeah, and so I mean, it's very impressive. I think, like, how many, how they've they've managed to get on and do think do so many things with their kids and not like feel like dying. <laughs> have you totally do you think you'll be like you. doing any learning have you learned anything from Andy today, Jeanette? Oh um yeah yeah I think quite a lot. Like uh, especially with regard to modifying my life and my my schedule and that's actually something I am very consciously working on. Yeah my husband is a very supportive um, in this regard as well so um, really hope that I'll be able to succeed in, in the modification of this schedule that I have I'm so sure that, you will you will be forced to yeah, modify your schedule when I think you I won't have a choice <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much guys today. yeah oh. we'll be back um, next Wednesday um, with another guest and, and we'll let you guys know who it is and what we'll be talking about next week so please join us again next wednesday at 9 p.m and ask your questions and keep us keep talking to us yeah, yeah. okay and so you got, yeah if you have any like a buddy any guests you would like us to have on the show please let us know and we'll see if we can get them on the show okay thank you everybody good night thank you good night Bye. stay sane Bye. Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta fight the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright when you touch the door, handle at work, yeah Wanna dig your nose, cause damn shook, yeah Right before you want to touch your face Better wash your hands first, just in case Virus want to stay in Singapore Use your yellow boots, kicking out the door Personal hygiene is not a chore If you do our part, then we are all Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta fight the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright If you are sick, then please wear a mask uh. okay. If you are not, don't have to wear la. Uh. Oh. Cover your face, if you cough or sneeze <laughs> Be responsible, don't spread disease right. Conquered viruses before Don't play, play, you can hear the lion roar Personal hygiene is not a chore If you do our part, then we are all Wash your hands, gotta find the virus we all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta fight the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta fight the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright BHPC at your survey We got a meds at subsidized rates don't touch your face, wear a mask, it's safe Wash your hands with soap, that will do the trick So what if it's COVID-19? Use your brain, use your brain, we can be clean! Shut up! Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands now Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands, gotta find the virus all day, all night Wash your hands, do every soap and then you'll be alright Wash your hands and do it with soap now Wash your hands and do it with soap